1972 Volvo 164. Beautiful condition, this car. It was restored by the current owner, um, who's a bit of a Volvo fanatic, in 2019. If you check the description, we'll detail everything we know about what's been done to it, all that sort of stuff. Um, but in this video, we're going to go around and have a good look at the bodywork. I'll put the camera underneath here and there. Then we'll check the interior out and we'll go for a cold engine startup. Just quickly scanning around the outside, you can see it's all one colour gold. Really lovely finish on it. It's driven up to us this, this, this weekend, just gone from Leeds as well. Nice hot day, drove up, didn't miss a beat apparently. We're going to start on the driver's side. If we start by looking down this side, you can see it's lovely and straight all the way down there. It's not full of ripples or dents or filler. It's nice and smooth all the way down there. All your panel gaps are lovely and neat all the way down. Driver's front wing, there's no marks behind the bumper. We're in that lower half of the valance there. This trim fits lovely all the way around the arch itself. Inside the arch, you've got that exposed lip, which is lovely and sharp all the way around. You can see just how clean it is in there. It's on the correct original Volvo um, steel wheels with the center caps and the chrome outer bezel, which are in lovely condition. I believe we're on four matching Continental tires which we'll double check as we go around. Rest of the wing is lovely and tidy. But if we're being really picky, in fact, that's dirt, ignore that. There's no excess buildup of paint or anything in any of the gaps. Rest of the front wing, really nice and neat. Nothing at all to whinge about. Coming down the A pillar, that's all good. There's no stone chips or any corrosion or anything coming through there. Around the screen itself, it's lovely all the way along. Again, no excess buildup of paint or anything like that in the uh, in the vent, which is normally a sign of a bad paint job. This one, as you can see, is crystal clear. Up onto the roof, and again, no marks on the leading edge of the windscreen at all. Normally, you get some across this lip here, but this one's all good. Glass on the windscreen is nice and clear as well. Up onto the roof, the rest of the roof, got one little mark in the lacquer just there. You might just be able to see it on the on the camera, but the rest of it is all nice and neat. The, neat. the, root, the uh, sunroof sits nice and level. There's no marks or corrosion or anything coming through around there. All the glass on the driver's side is lovely and clear. And this trim is excellent. Normally you get some water sitting on them, so you get some pitting, but this one, as you can see, is all very good. Continuing down this side, two tiny little dings in the trim just there. That's how picky I'm being on this one, because it is a really nice car. All good along the driver's door. There's nothing at all to worry about there. Around the handle, that's nice and neat. Even the rubber seal there is good. And all good around the lock as well. If we go down below and have a look, Along the sill, there's nothing at all to whinge about along there. And then if we go underneath, you can see floor pans are nice and tidy. The exhaust looks to be pretty new. I believe it is quite a new stainless exhaust as well. It sounds lovely, this car. Rear driver's door again, no marked is walking out on that. All, all of this work is good. The bright work's lovely all the way around. Rear arch, again, sharp all the way around. No sign of any corrosion coming through. Another good wheel and tire, uh, continental tire as well. And then continuing down this side, normally you find some corrosion coming through in the bottom here. But as you can see on this one, lovely and neat all the way along. And we can have another look back up that side from here. Nice and sharp all the way up. Your body line's nice and neat. There's nothing at all to whinge about there. Even on the original spec Volvo fuel cap with the removable lock cover. Round on the back. Bumper sits nice and straight. Both tail lights are bright and clear and crack free. The rubber is in nice condition. A couple of little bits of mark. On the uh, on the metal work there, but nothing too bad. Badging on both sides is nice and clear. All the paintwork on the back's lovely. Top of the boot lid, again, there's no marks to really note in there. Paint's lovely on this, nice and deep. Good shine to it. And again, along the bottom there, really nice and neat. All the seals are soft, not dried out or cracked. There's nothing to whinge about around that rear screen at all. Have a quick look underneath, that lower valance is nice and neat and you can have a good look underneath the boot there, fuel tank, all lovely and tidy under there. Round on the passenger side, and again if you look down this side that body line's nice and sharp, it's not full of filler or waviness all the way down there. Lower half down here again, lovely and tidy, inside this arch, sharp all the way around. Another good wheel and matching continental tyre. Rear quarter, there's no marks to note there. Even on that seam, that's all good. We can have another look up at the roof from here as well. 
glass on this side clean and clear all the way down there's no ingrained scratching it's got all the right volvo stamping on it and all this trim is nice as well both doors on this side it's lovely and neat it does have one little dink in the uh, in the trim just there again same sort of place as the other side to be fair sill lovely and straight all the way along we'll have another look underneath nothing to whinge about there have a look at the bottom of the windscreen from this side again all lovely and neat there's no corrosion coming through we've got one little stone chip there but that is me being really picky lovely and neat up that a pillar and across this side of the roof front wing on this side again inside the arch sharp all the way around there's no sign of any corrosion at all as you can see all very very good and your final wheel and matching continental tire Round on the front, and again, the front bumpers is lovely and level. All your glass on your light is nice and crack free and clean. Chrome work on the grill is all very good. Um, this is all an anodized and lovely. Little half, get a nice and neat under there. You can see it's been parked for a while, it's not dropping any fluid on the floor. And then up onto the bonnet, we've got one little mark in the paint just there. But other than that, Lovely and neat. So overall, cosmetically, a very, very good looking car. Lovely and tidy, ready for the shows. Into the interior. Nice and neat on that driver's door card. Normally you get a lot of wear along here or across the top. There's a little bit of ingrained dirt there that would clean out, but other than that, all good. Door shuts are lovely as are the little work on the doors themselves. Driver's seat, tiny little bit of patina, um, but in sort of the way of a an old Chesterfield wants a bit of patina that look a bit weird when they're brand new. These ones look lovely. No real marks at all on the on the steering wheel. Carpet set is nice and dark. Heel pad is good. Top of the dash is lovely. There's no marks across the top of there. And the wood on the dash itself. Clock even works correctly. It's all nice and neat. Mileage wells were on 90,900. Just over 100 of it put on this weekend when it was driven to us. Rear driver's door again, nice and neat. Leather's still nice and soft. The backs of the seats are good. These aren't pulled out or stretched. Headlining looks to be good, especially around the sunroof. And then into the boot, underside of the boot lid is lovely and tidy. Got your full size spare in the correct spec with the trim and a continental tire jack. All there as well and then there's a load of spares that the owners sort of pieced together over his time and like i say it was restored in 2019 if you check the description we'll detail everything we know about what what was done then rear left door again lovely and neat on the door card itself door shuts nice and clean a little bit of wear on the seat there but again it's still nice and soft it's not cracked it's just right for the year uh, Nice smell in there, it still actually smells leathery in there. It doesn't smell like smoke or dogs or anything like that. All good on the front passenger door card and the seat on this side. Again, tiny little bit of wear. It's still lovely and start soft, still looks right. Carpet set on this side is nice, the wood is good. Pop the bonnet while we're here. We've got that lovely Volvo six cylinder engine under there. Underside of the bonnet, again, lovely and neat. Owner did say everything was sprayed with sort of rust protection and all the cavities and things like that. So it's built to be here for a long time. Inner wings are lovely and neat. Bulkhead is nice. All your Volvo plaques in the right places. Uh, and he did tell me the radiator has just been recorded as well. I know that. Must be doing its job because it drove all the way up here, 24, 25 degrees. Temperature was lovely when it got here. Started lovely, nice and hot. Again, we've left it to go cold. It's Tuesday now, so it's sort of been here four or five days. Uh, nice and cold, so we can do a proper cold engine start up. And again, like I said, it's not dropping any fluid or anything on the floor. Get it fired up. See, like I said, it is stone cold, so we're going to give it a little bit of choke. Fires up straight away. 
take it over nice and happy. There's nothing nasty firing out the back. So there you have it. Beautiful condition, Volvo 164. Any more questions at all, please get in touch, thank you.